Hi, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to use our upload form. So the most important thing that you have to consider before purchasing this form is that you have to make sure your server supports mail PHP function, okay? So if you're not sure about this, you should contact your hosting. So remember, this is very, very important. And the other thing is that the upload form won't work in Adobe Muse Preview. So you have to upload it to a PHP compatible um, if, uh, uh, server, sorry, and and then test it there. Okay. Uh, as an example, this this won't work with GoDaddy or Business Catalyst because they don't have this function. Okay. So now I'm going to show you. I have the the widget here, so I'm going to display the options. And first options are the form labels. So this is just for if you if you speak other language or the web service in another language that is not in English, so you can change the labels here and write it in other in, in other language like Italian or French, whatever you want, or just leave it like that. And the form settings, uh, the okay, here says add PHP file, okay? You have two options here. The first option, as you see when you download the zip and you and you press it, you're going to see two PHP files. One is contact and the other one is contact sex PHP. So you have two options here. You can upload contact and then you just have to fill in, sorry, you just have to fill in the rest of the details here or else what you have to do is, sorry, there's what you have to do is upload contact sec PHP and first thing you have to do is open it with with notepad or sublime or any other similar program and you have to edit so you can actually I can preview here you can I have to actually edit open it and edit to email and here you have to write your destination email that's the only difference Using contact sec is the recommended, okay? Because this is to actually to avoid spam. But you have the option option to use both if you don't want to manually edit this, which is very, very easy because I'm just going to open this with, with Sublime. So the only thing that I have to do here is I'm just going to change this. So let's say I'm going to change it to, to email is there at... responsivemuse.com okay so this is the only thing you have to do so just click on save and and that's it so that's the file that you have to actually upload here so once you've saved it so once you save it you're going to upload it here okay so going to open it and do that. The difference is that if you don't upload contact, say just upload contact, you don't have to edit anything using another another program like Notepad or Sublime. You just have to edit things here. All right. So, what will we have to write here? Remember and send to email. Here you should write the email where you want to receive all the forms. And in from email, this is the sender email. So usually it's an email from your own domain. Mm, let's say I'm going to switch this, but say as my domain is responsive muse, I'm going to say that hello responsive muse is going to send the emails to my personal email, which is the one that I I I, I wrote before here, Bea at responsive muse. All right, so. You can actually edit the success message. I'm going to leave it as a thank you. And you also can, can write an error message too so people uh, can realize when when the upload has been failed and we have to try it again or even contact you. Okay, so the form title, you can change this to contact us or upload your file. So you see how it changes. You can change the font too. See how it's uh, upload your file, the title has changed. You can change the font. And you can choose which subjects you want to show. So I'm going to say show subject one and two, which is general question. And um, this is here when the, the this is the, the the what it's going to display. Okay. 
So first thing appears is general question. So next thing that will appear will be advertisement, work with us, client and provider. You can edit this, okay? You can actually want to, uh, if you want to show this phone fill or you don't want to show a message fill. So you're just going to, you see, you don't not click it. And obviously you can you can choose the, the, the widget font and all the button colors that you want. So you can customize this. Okay, so when you're done with your upload form and when you're done with the older site, what you have to do is you have to export this as HTML and then you have to upload it to your server, okay? I use, you can use any program, so what you have to do is is, is upload it here and, and, and test it, okay? Because it won't work in Adobe Muse Preview. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching.